Hello YouTube, I am Ojama the Bomb. I'm bringing you just a quick little video. Just a quick little video. I love how how that sounds. Video. Sorry, I'm getting carried away with myself here. Eh? Um, about the ban list for September the 1st, 2011. And as you've probably well have guessed, uh, oh, I'm trying to get the list sorted out. It's going a bit topsy turvy. Here we go. There's obviously some new things going on. I'm sorry, I've got someone talking to me on MSN. Hi, Rob. Um, first of all, for the forbidden list, we've got Fishbowl Blaster and Mind Master. So they are now apparently, like in the advanced format, they are forbidden. In the traditional format, they are limited. Now. There's not been much change to um, any fusion ones, Thousand Eye Restrict and few, the Synchros are still gone. Um, with Dark Strike, Fighter and Goya Guardian. There's Giant True Nade that's now officially been banned. Which I thought was odd. It's still limited in traditional format but it's just now banned. Which I think is going to annoy someone, especially what took its place. And the... Um, trap lineup hasn't changed apart from a royal oppression is now forbidden in the advanced format. As for the limited ones, we got Black Lost Soldier Envoy of the Beginning is making a comeback at one. Now, we've also got the Bree Dragon that has become limited. We've got Lone Flyer Blossom, which was semi limited. No, um, yeah, the, the Bree Dragon was semi limited and now limited, and so is Lone Flyer Blossom. With the Synchro Monsters, we have Formula Synchron, Legendary Six Samurai Shien, TG Hyper Librarian, and Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier are now limited, which I think is going to annoy a couple of people, but also brings out some good stuff for us. Heavy Storm is what has replaced Giant Trunade on the ban list, and has now become limited. It was forbidden, but now it's limited, and I think it's going to be abused, to be frightfully honest with you. We've also got Pog Avarice is now limited, and um, Primal Seed is limited as well, followed by Shien Smoke Signal. So it looks like Sam's have been hit quite a bit here. There's no change to the trap lineup on the limited list. Now we've also got uh, four the um, semi limited cards Necro Gardener, Summoner Monk, and Tragodia are all now semi limited. They were limited, but now they're off. For Synchro Monsters, we have Deloran, Tiger Ice of uh, Tiger King of the Ice Barrier is now a new card on the semi-limited list. For magics, we have Destiny Draw and Swords of Revealing Light at semi-limited. Anyone else think Swords is gonna be a bit abused here? Maybe in stall decks or something? I don't know what Destiny Draw does, so I don't really pay attention to that. And in the traps, Call of the Haunted is semi-limited, and so is Mind Crush. Now, let's go on to the unlimited ones. Judgment Dragon and Spirit Reaper are no longer on the ban list whatsoever, so you can have three of them in a set. Megamorph, Mystical Space Typhoon, and Overload Fusion are now all off the ban list, so have three of them in a deck. Gravity Bind and Icarus Attack are all off the ban list. All of them were on the semi-limited list, apart from Gravity Bind, which was on the limited. Now... As that being the ban list, I want to know your thoughts on it. Which decks do you think are going to do well? Which decks don't you think are going to do well? You can post a video response, you can leave it in the comment section below, or you can do whatever. But yeah, I want to know your thoughts on this because I'm, I'm being probably KCP is going to cover this as well. So I apologize if I've kind of, you know, stolen your thunder a bit here, guys, because I didn't really know. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. I mean, to be frightfully honest, I'd say Sam's aren't going to be as popular now because they're not exactly ruined and they're not dead, but they can be slowed down quite a bit now thanks to the ban list. Uh, there are a few other cards, like Mystical Space Typhoon is going to be the nuts, really. And I find it best to use that with Chain Whirlwind because if you, um, if you activate it as Chain Link 3 or higher, you get to destroy two spells or traps. So that isn't too bad, you've got to admit. And... Like even swords, brilliant is going to be for the stall decks. So that way, like even my flame and semen deck, the king tiger deck, um, they all going to get that extra bit of support they need now. You've got even oh Christ, I mean, everyone's going to be packing a black lustre soldier now. 
because of its ability to be able to remove one card from play or not attack, or and not attack, or you can attack each monster on your opponent's field once per turn. You find a way to boost up like with Mega Morph, 6,000 attack points, boom, if your, monster, if your opponent's got loads of monsters in attack mode, boom, 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 good day, dear sir. I mean, not being funny, even, that would even work with War Revealing Light. Stop your opponent from attacking for God knows how long, and that increases um, its attack, and it's fucked. So, it is going to be a bit annoying, this, to be frightfully honest, because it's just going to be, there are so I mean, even Heavy Storm, that's going to become annoying, because things like that play down traps, uh, burn decks, and everything else like that is going to be annoying. Part of Avarice can be annoying, because some decks need that recycle. Um, I don't even know what half the Sam cards do because I don't play Sams. I don't even know what Delorean King or Ki Tiger King does. But as I've said, there's going to be a lot of cards here that are going to hit certain decks but strengthen others. So I want to know your thoughts on it. Send a message or leave a um, comment in the section below, as I've said before. And I'll post a video on letting, well, on the more well, on the interesting thoughts you guys have because, to be honest. I found quite a few of these to be interesting, which can power up a lot of the decks that haven't been played much these days. But I also, like, I don't know many of the meta decks or how they work. So I want to know your opinions on what meta decks might help, which anti -meta, well, which decks or which meta decks are going to be broken or like are going to be unbeatable in your opinion by this. Which ones are going to become stronger? Which ones are going to become weaker? So just let me know your opinion, guys. I mean, dude. That's what we're here for, really, to share knowledge and opinions on YouTube, so let's keep going with it. Alright, and that's all I've really got to say for the moment. This is Ojama the Bomb, signing out. Peace and love to y'all.